say that when the minority embarked on the constitutional journey of a censure warranted and guaranteed under the 1992 constitution and article 82 we're not ob oblivious to the fact that to succeed we needed support and cooperation from the opposite of the aisle so get it right when we initiated the motion we firmly and sincerely believed that our friends opposite will walk the talk with us and not just make radio and interview declarations, but they will manifest it supporting us on the floor of parliament and in the exercise of a secret vote as required under Article 82. We cannot but feel let down and betrayed. And for me, it is a stab on oversight and parliamentary oversight and it only weakens parliament in exercising its oversight in calling ministers to order. That's very disappointing and that means that the parliament of Ghana is failing the Ghanaian citizens and the parliament of Ghana is failing to protect the public purse. I thought that I should explain this so that you understand that the onerous threshold in Article 82 is two thirds. The people of Ghana give us 137. That 137 remains unequivocally resolute that we have no faith and confidence in the finance minister. Thank you.